Okay, so let's call this meeting to order. Uh, it is um, May 12th at four, four o'clock and this is the finance committee meeting. And today we'll be uh, reviewing the final um, recommendation for the budget and the uh, warrant and we're gonna be voting on all the articles. So, uh, is there a particular item? I would say let's uh, try to get the uh, budget out of the way because I think that will be quick if everyone's okay with that. Yeah. All right. Sh shall I share that? Yes, please. Uh oh. Where is it? Huh. There, is that the budget? Yes. Okay. So the difference between this and what you've been looking at before is the uh, middle column, now that the select board has made a, uh, has taken their vote, uh, they are now the blue section in the middle. That's the finance committee budget. I mean, that's the select board budget and yours is as it was voted last time. Um, they're very close, Amy, except for the $20,000 difference. Okay. I think um, they went with you. They went with all of the finance committee uh, changes except the 20. The HR. Yeah, yeah, in HR, which is budget 152. And I think when we get there, when, when, when you have made your votes, I'm going to be taking out the voted in these spaces. And we're also at the top going to make these zeros on the bottom line by, um, by increasing raise and appropriate which, by the way, we have found our replacement funds are probably could be a bit higher. Um, at least uh, Dan thinks it could be closer. To, uh, we can go 4% a year higher than those two. So it will easily cover the negatives, whatever you have at the bottom here. So we'll be still balanced. So this will then get fixed up based on tonight's vote on your part. Then we'll make it zero up top and that will be what gets submitted and brought to town meeting. So it'll show zero at town meeting. It will. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to go through and make the adjustments um, until uh, we won't change anything. On, that's what's been done on uh, the reduction in the taxes. The any okay. changes will be either based on uh, a revenue increase or the ARPA funds increase. We'll just we'll okay. just make that be zero based on what on for both of them, but based on what you do, what you vote tonight. Uh, so, uh, if we've already discussed this, um, if there isn't any other discussion, I would al almost, um, what a motion. Look. Yes, please. All right. I make a motion that we uh, amend our original vote of $20,000 removed from, uh, 152 human resources to reinstate it and, uh, match the budget, uh, that line, a budget item as, uh, su suggested by the select board. Does that do it? That does it. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay. So first and a second. Um, do we vote? Uh, any other discussion? No. All right. If everyone could give a vote. Aye. 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 And let's see. How about Val? Uh, I'd like to abstain, please. Okay. okay. So, um, uh, Dylan, would you mind uh, listing up the, uh, cause just because we just need to make sure because we're voting, we don't, we need, or, or someone else. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to pick on Dylan, <laughs> he just did it for us last time. Um, if anybody could give, you know, take some minutes cause we have votes going on. Um, yeah, all right, all right, Dan, so. Okay. Thank you. Uh, motion. Reinstate 20 to which, which was that? HR budget 152. 152. 152. And that was uh, all in favor of Valerie abstain, correct? 100%. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, great. 
So we're done with the budget. If we want to just uh, move right over to the um, warrant. And I guess we can move right along, but Carolyn, if you want to guide us through, that would be great. Sure. You want to go, um, we can start with Article 1. So just a reminder that Article 1 through 5 were articles that were not uh, addressed at the special town meeting, and it was promised that, that it would go first at the annual town meeting. So um, the first one is CPA. And Amy, can you just um, clarify for me, you guys vote on each article, right? Except for planning, but CPA, conservation, or is it just the ones that are related to money? Just the ones that are related to money. Okay. All right. So this is um, the emergency rental assistance. You'll see that there's 100,000 on there. And... Um, my, I, there was, there's an understanding from the uh, emergency, I'm sorry, from the Hadley Housing and Economic Development Committee um, that they did, they did not have anyone um, needing assistance this year. And so they want to be requesting to CPA to lower that to 25,000. So I checked with uh, town council today and Randy, our town moderator, it, to see about um, instead of having an amendment brought up at town meeting because CPA won't be able to meet to lower that officially um, until after until after the warrants closed. So Randy has agreed that, and uh, Amy as chair has agreed that they're going to meet as soon as they can, um, but not they won't be able to meet before the warrant gets posted. So um, for the, to lower it to 25,000, it's gonna remain posted as 100,000, but Randy will comment on that and uh, he won't make the motion obviously, but he will use the number 25,000 when he addresses this article and will explain exactly what I just said. CPA was not able to vote before the warrant closed um, but I'm assuming that that's going to be their recommendation as well. So this is all based on whether CPA agrees to lower it to 25,000. So do you have any questions about that? So uh, just uh, in no matter what, uh, even if, and the reason why I said 100 was because CPA met in um, January when there was still somewhat of a need or they thought there could be a need. So when it was requested, um, it was still early enough. So that's why the numbers up there. The other thing is, even if uh, no matter what, if it's not used, the money's just gonna go back. So um, we're not gonna lose, the, the town won't lose out on any money. If it just not doesn't end up getting used, it will automatically revert back to the funds it came from. I also want to add, I didn't, I don't know if I, I missed it in the front end, but instead of getting rid of the article completely uh, and lowering it to zero or eliminating it, um, the logic is, is the eviction moratorium that was supposed to be at the end of uh, December 2020 got pushed to June of this year. So there might be a need coming up that hasn't been realized yet. And we were also advised by um, CAPV that there was a lot of different funds from the springtime that might have floated people along, including tax refunds. So um, these these um, recommendations, I'm thinking that when I'm looking at the article and I see this finance committee recommends and the select board recommends, I'm guessing those were from last time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, so you may see some numbers here that we'll update after tonight. Okay. So um, if do I have a motion at this point? Uh, motion to approve the article. As is. I'll second it. Uh, any other discussion? All right, all in favor? 
Aye. 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 Yes is all around. Okay, so I guess we can keep that number right there. <laughs> all right. Amy, do you want me to talk about it or do you? Uh, as okay, well, I can do this. What I'll do is I'll just do the CPA ones. Right. Since since I can, I, I, I can talk on those, that's fine. Uh, let's see, uh, CPA article. The North Hadley Cemetery, Russellville Cemetery, Hockenham Cemetery. Uh, this is all stuff that we, we've either done plans for in the past. Um, so we have done plans and now they're finishing them up. Um, this was supposed to look to, to go to do this last time and, and so they're still wanting to finish it. So I think this is pretty much the end of the cemetery requests. I mean, we've had quite a few articles in our past and, um, and I think they're pretty much done with all these cemeteries at this point after this. So that's great. So um, I, if anybody has any questions. We need a motion. Yes, please. Motion to approve article two, uh, CPA, North Hadley Cemetery, Russellville Cemetery and Hockenham Cemetery appropriate and transfer $60,000 from the CPA historic set aside. Right. Do, so have you have motion? Motion. Do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Great. So we have a first and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none. Uh, <clears throat> Aye. 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 All right, five yeses. I don't know, you got to the adult definitions there and I thought we got Zoom bombed again. We will get the page numbers on here too. We had some computer issues today. My computer didn't like talking with everybody else's and it wasn't letting us get rid of these numbers. Right, article four. Oh, do I go through this? this that's not relevant either, is it? No, you're gonna I'll go to article Article I'll see if I can six. get through a little quicker this time. Just Article well, 6. Uh, yep. That was shorter. But, ah, there are Article 6 grants. So uh, just, oh, sorry. You want to no, go ahead, Linda. No, I thought they weren't voting on it. And I do say, I see it does say finance. So go ahead. It, it is a consent agenda. Um, but this just get this is uh, on every year. It just gives permission for us to um, accept any grants or monies or um, anything throughout the year. It just gives us permission to do that. Do I have a motion? Uh, yes, motion to approve. I'm sorry, did I jump anybody else? A motion to approve Article Six, uh, authorizing the select board to apply for and expend. Um, any uh, grants, monies, et cetera, from the federal, state, mass, small cities program and uh, for appropriate uh, applications and action. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you. All right, any other discussion on this? No, we've okay. seen it before. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Hi. Uh, yes. Is... Article seven, you've seen before it's consent agenda. It is chapter 90 funds that come in for highway. And we did list the last few years, if you scroll down just a little bit of uh, how much money we received from the state. 
typically Chris uses that on uh, paving. And I know that the select board have asked that he give a list of some of the projects that he has completed through chapter 90 funds. So we'll be able to update you um, at another meeting or through a select board meeting on some of the, what he has, what projects he completes with this money. This is nice because I've never seen this before. You know, I, uh, we know it comes in, but we didn't know where the money, so it's good to see it. So thanks. All right, do we have a motion uh, to accept uh, article seven. Article, whatever, whatever number this motion, is? <laughs> motion to accept article seven, uh, which is uh, vote to appropriate, uh, uh, to see if the town will vote to appropriate funds provided by the town to the, uh, to the town by the state under chapter 90. And that such funds as the, uh, basically what it says here, you can just read it, okay? Type it. Second that motion. Great, we have a first and a second. No other discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Six yeses. Five yeses. <laughs> I say, are we getting somebody here? Uh, the cat. The cat. Uh, oh, my second cold brew. Uh, he's a painting over there now. <laughs> <laughs> and Linda, do you want to explain what article eight is? Oh, this is uh, to approve short-term borrowing. Uh, that we need from time to time when we borrow things, when we, when the town votes to borrow items, we, uh, whether it's through the levy, this is most, uh, or debt exclusion, I still need the authorization to go ahead and borrow it. In fact, we have a large ban, a sh large short-term note coming up early uh, June. We'll be paying off a $670,000 note, it includes a number of paydowns on that, and then a few new items. So our new ban will be 780,000. So in the past, we've had as many as five borrowings in a year because we were doing short term and building up to those bonds. However, now that we're done with our bonds, we should be down to one or two, but hopefully even this next year, one or two borrowings a year. Okay. That should do it for a while. All right. I have a question for uh, Carolyn. Do these... Uh... All three of these articles, do you have these over in, in Wilbraham? Do you have to vote on this every year too? Yeah, it's it's funny and because I was looking at, because we had town meeting Monday night and we went till midnight, believe it or not, that was a killer. But I was looking at some of the things that we have that Hadley doesn't and things that Hadley has, has that we don't. Um, I think we do do short-term borrowing. I think you have to um, by Mass General Law, um, but I would, uh, I'll have to give you a copy of Wilbraham's I have a copy of Wilbraham's warrant. It's kind of interesting. Well, I'm I'm just wondering why do we have to, why can't we just give a blanket one and just why do we have to do it every single year? We always, I mean, the same ones on the consent agenda are every single year. Of course, we want to accept grants. Of course, we want chapter 90 money. You know, we don't have to do one saying we want uh, the cherry sheet money that's from the schools. So, you know, I but honestly, Amy, I can't imagine what would happen if this got voted down. <laughs> so you know what's it you know what i'd like to do i'd love to just because sometimes things are on here just because it, it's it's always been on but i think amy that's a good idea i think i'd like to look and see what's mandated by mass general laws and uh talk about that with you and the select board for next year yeah yeah i think that's a i think that's a good idea because really we we i don't like putting it at risk if we don't need to good point Oh, you, you're still going to vote? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, so do no. we have, did we give a motion? Sorry. No. Okay. No, you had a notion before the motion. Um, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Uh, all right. I'll make a motion that we approve Article 8 related to short-term borrowing to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow money from time to time in anticipation of revenue uh, of the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021, in accordance with the Mass General Laws, yada, 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 and everything else that's written here. Okay. Second that motion. Thank you. And if there's no other discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Linda, you want this one or you want me to explain? 
unbalanced transfer. This is a uh, what traditionally we call this the sweep article. We don't have much that we're taking in this round. Uh, we're doing it. Uh, we'll be focusing on it in the fall because that's the point at which we hope we'll be able to um, identify the balances in those large borrowings for the buildings and see what uh, if we can do something different. Um, so we should have a number of things that we can sweep back in in the fall. But uh, the school knew that it was not going to use these funds. So we thought uh, as a placeholder, we'll, we'll do this. I'll make a we motion. Didn't, oh, we didn't borrow these funds yet at all, by the right. way. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve Article 9, a fund balance transfer related to the school parking lot for $11,000. $11,000. I'll second that motion. Any other discussion? No? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Five yeses. Article 10. <clears throat> Replacement of filters, yes. So well, this you, you this is a consent agenda as well. You guys have been um, investing in this uh, filtration system for a few years. So it's just continuing on in that investment. Right. Right. I'll make a motion. I make a motion to uh, uh, for Article 10 to support Article 10 water treatment filtration. Uh, uh, plant filtration membrane reserve to transfer $26,000 to the water reserves from the water reserves to the water plant filtration stabilization fund uh, as per provisions of the Mass General Law Chapter 40B, 40 Section 5B and everything else here for the purpose of replacing and repairing our water plant filtration membranes and associated expenses, et cetera, et cetera. I will second that motion. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, is. I, I think, I mean, you can do this however you want, but I think because these are recommendations and you're not really having to fully make the motion, I think that you can just make a motion to uh, recommend That's Article fine. 10. That's great. <laughs> These we could be home in 15 minutes, maybe. All right. Oh, I, sh I should have shown you these before, but this shows on that 26,000 a year that you give. Right. Okay, moving on. We've covered that before. Yep. Okay, <laughs> our goal. CPA. CPA. CPA, they do this every year. Every oh. year we have CPA receives money uh, from the taxpayers and from the state and they have to put in 10% to, into different right. buckets, open space, historic preservation and housing. So they are putting, they're taking the money that they receive and putting those into the set asides for that particular um, uh, purpose. Uh, okay. The 3,000, they put in an extra side in case they need anything for um, administrative funds um, for anything that comes up. Otherwise, it just gets rolled back in. Okay. So I'll make a motion to recommend uh, the planning or uh, finance committee support Article 11, the Community Preservation Act Committee. Second the motion. Uh, any other discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. We're good for Article 12. Article 12 is the revolving funds. Typically, this is a consent on the consent agenda, but this year it's not because we're going to be recommending a couple changes. Um, just to remind you, so the description of the, the fund, but then the at the the amount that's there is the annual expense that's allowed. So it's not what their balance is, it's what that they're allowed to expend in a given year. So what this article is in the beginning, you'll see the first part of the article. If you pass the table, and I'm gonna go over what some of the changes are. You're going to see at the bottom of the table, it says, and further to delete the following revolving fund accounts, electrical inspection, Russell School, and after school program, and to return any remaining balances in said revolving fund accounts to the general fund. So if you remember the electro, electrical inspectors, we put those revenues, this was coming into revolving funds, but it's not reflected into but it really should be going back into general fund because that's where the expenses are, are incurred. 
So this is gonna be in line with the, our other ins inspecting inspection services. So we're, we're taking that out of the revolving fund. And then the next one is the after, I'm sorry, Russell School. We're no longer, that was for um, any rentals that you were allowing organizations to use the building. Obviously no one's using that building anymore. So that we don't need that revolving account anymore. So that's gonna be um, dissolved as well as the after school program. The former parks and rec director used to do all the administration and coordination for the schools for their after school program. And uh, that, de the de that department is not helping the, the schools anymore. They're doing it themselves. So any money that's left over is gonna go back into the general fund. But we need, a we need to vote to do that. So I took it out of the consent agenda. So it'll go into the general fund, you said? Yes. Approximately how much is going into the um, general fund from all these accounts? At least 50,000 or about 50,000. Oh. Um, mostly uh, the uh, electric, I mean, uh, yeah, the after school and the electrical one are, are the There's higher two. Around. There's not much left, I don't think, in the Russell School one. <laughs> it's a one-time infusion is not going to be revenue. It will uh, go to our cash balance and be, uh, be part of certified free cash as of June 30th. Um, okay. we, would you like exact amounts for town meeting? I can see it will be the amount at the end of the year, by the way. Uh, the only one that should fluctuate very much is the electrical, but I think you've asked me for this once before. So I'm going to write it down this time and make sure that I have the actual balances and all those accounts for you. Oh, I just thought the after school might have a, quite a bit in it. It, it might. It, it did. It did. Yeah, I think it, it had 30 something it, in it. That's 30. And then, yeah. I, yeah. So it's probably, yeah, if that's the 30 and the electrical will probably be closer to 40. So yeah, we, we have quite a bit of money in there. This will now get working for us again. We need it. Mm. Great. You need a motion? Mm hmm Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion that the uh, uh, committee, um, finance committee, uh, support Article 12 revolving funds. I'll second the motion. Any other discussion on this? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Uh, Linda, I would. Uh, so if you're getting balances on some of these, I would I would probably just make sure you know your balance on the um, conservation one, it, yeah. just in case you get that later with uh, all the campers. The oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I was th I thought you meant CPA. The conservation, sure, I'll get I'll get that. That's a good idea. Because you know they're gonna there's a bunch of campers there that are still angry campers. <laughs> yeah. Camp on a muck. <laughs> on the uh, right. Uh, hopefully, they will pass that article, however, because they will be less happy if it doesn't pass. But that's another story. Yeah. DPW, okay. okay. DPW the next projects. Yep. These these projects are right now considered emergency projects. Uh, I think have I talked about this yet with the finance committee? These three. I can't remember. I've presented to you, a lot. I think of you gave a heads up one week, okay. but, but uh, that it was coming, but I don't think okay. you gave the full explanation. And Chris would be here, but I honestly, um, he has been at a lot of meetings and I just wanted to spare him this and we've been working closely. So I think I can do an okay job explaining what these um, issues are. They are definitely emergency issues. Uh, Mount Warner, the tree removal for access to the water tank. Um, it is the trees have not been maintained, so they're in, in just encroaching on the whole access up to the water tanks. So they need to have it, it's 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 significant. If something were to happen and they needed to get certain vehicles up to the water tank, uh, they wouldn't be able to do it. So um, it's also some outdated um, electrical and. I want to say piping, but there's, I know there's a better word for it that Chris would use a better word, but um, the whole project is, is, is critical right now. And that's $20,000. Uh, 
Um, the Mount Holyoke electrical alarm system, almost a similar situation, but very outdated, over 60 or 70 year old pipes there um, with a lot of roots from trees that have kind of wrapped around this system. And it is definitely, they, it, it, uh, it is the alarm system for uh, Mount Holyoke. And if anything were to happen, there is no backup for this. And it, it would seriously have um, a detrimental effect on uh, the water system. So that is gonna be about 100,000 because it's landscaping and electrical. Um, what I, what's included in here as well in this 100,000 is um, any kind of um, contingency, sorry. Um, so then nightly road, that is the culvert headwear, headwall repair. It is uh, the whole top of the headwell head wall is cracked. They're also looking at the other side of it to see if that needs to be repaired. Uh, it needs additional, uh, is a, some um, requirements that conservation is placing on DPW to do during the project. We have engineers, I'll, I'll uh, let me say, yeah, we've had engineers involved with all of these projects, um, especially nightly road and that is also a critical situation. It's, it's created that culvert is not safe. So that's $40,000. So that it's gonna be bar, the water reserves. Linda, do you wanna talk about how those are funded? Yes, um, we are going to uh, borrow, there, there won't be any debt exclusions on this uh, warrant. So there's no need to go to a, um, to a ballot election, which would cost us additional money and uh, no guarantee of it being pay, pay, uh, passed anyways, but, uh, and we didn't want to put at risk anything that was of an emergency nature. So the best way to do this would be borrow within the levy. Um, we do have water reserves. There's one and a half million dollars in water reserves right now. And so there's enough money to pay for the first two. Uh, there's no equivalent balance for general funds. And the third one would be a general fund. So we're going to be borrowing it within the levy. Um, we do have a plan within our borrowing that we, uh, in the budget each year is $300,000 worth of payments for borrowings within the levy. And um, since we pay off 300 a year, we also budget that we can average, you know, two, 250 to 300 in new borrowing. The entire, this entire warrant, I think adds up to 210,000. So all the borrowing you see in here, unless it's being paid out of water and sewer, which a couple are. Um, will be uh, taking up a lot of that budget, but they're also of a, most of them are of an emergency nature, unfortunately. So, so Linda, yes, yeah, sorry, Amy. The mm -hmm. three hundred thousand. Um, yes, and we're going to do about two ten. You said total when you added them. Uh, in today's, uh, let's see. No. Yes, this is forty. Later on, we have the levy at 150 and we have the ambulance at 20. Okay. So that's 210,000 in this budget uh, at most, at most, because we do have a uh, possibility of doing at least the ambulance out of ARPA funding, which we'll talk about another time. But um, because of the timing of it, we don't have, and, and because of the timing of these borrowings, our town meeting and some un still, uh, the, uh, requirements still developing in with our ARPA capital projects, we're going to go, uh, we recommend we go ahead and do the borrowing of authorization now for these. And if we don't need to borrow them, of course we won't. And um, in all cases, unless they begin in, in this fiscal year, we don't need to begin borrowing until um, fiscal 22, which begins July 1, which means we aren't really gonna borrow until next June. So it's a whole year before it will start borrowing on these. Well, the, and, and I was just looking at that um, because I'm thinking ahead of the fall town meeting when we do a lot of capital, we'll still have about nine or a little more. Right, or, right or, or more, or more. And um, if we do more than that, Amy, I mean, let's say we do an extra 50 or something, we just, we just smooth it out into the future. That means uh, we do that much this year, maybe we do that much less next year, or maybe we can increase that line item again the way we did two years ago. Um, okay. If this seems to be a, a good way to do our capital and um, 
actually, I think it, it does feel like a good way to do a certain amount of, of capital. So okay, it's working for us right now. Mm -hmm. So none of these immediate borrowings are going to affect the budget that you have approved or, um, or, or cause a big bump in the next couple of years. I, I can show that chart if you want, Amy, but. No, no, unless someone else, I'll keep on moving. Okay. All right, you want a motion? Can you explain uh, the electrical alarm system? What is that supposed to be alerting? Is that low water or a water quality issue? It's, I think it's multiple, Dylan, and I, and I can get more details for you. Um, I, you know, I don't know ex exactly what it is, but it's all I know is that as we've spoken, um, as Chris and I have worked on this um, and working on all three of them, I'm sorry, I don't have the exactly what would happen, but it, it's an alarm system and the, there is no backup for it. And then I also wanted to point out for the Niley Road headwall, I was curious, so I just checked it out on Google Maps and there's a timestamp for fall of 2019 and there's uh, orange tape and stuff on it. So this has been uh, marked for at least two years. Uh, this is one of a few. So yeah. Seems like it's an important thing to do. That's all. All right, you need a motion? Yes, please. I make a motion that the uh, finance committee support Article 13 DPW projects as listed here. I'll second that motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Five yeses. Okay. So as we're moving forward, I have an update for you on the revolving funds. I just just looking them up. The electrical at this point, that's the one that will fluctuate, is forty four thousand. The after school program has thirty two thousand in it, and Russell School is down to one thousand. So, if based on today's values in those accounts, we would be bringing seventy seven thousand dollars into our general fund from that is just sitting in the revolving accounts. So, that's good. Right. The levy. So the levies has been, I don't know if how many of you were there when the engineer came in to do, there's two engineers, they did a great presentation, uh, select board me, two meetings ago. Was anybody at that? I didn't know if finance, you were, yeah, okay. We were, yeah. So most, most of you were there then, right? Cause yes. I don't want, he, they did such a great presentation. I don't want to ruin it, but it is, um, if you, Linda, can you put, uh, do we have that document, oh. the flood, protection system. And this is what I, what I set to you today. It's called DPW support documents. This this is for a different article, I believe. Yeah, that's for those. Okay. Uh, and so there you go. Um, yeah, if you can go to the next page, I'm just going to go down to the bottom to the recommended next steps because that really highlights what's needed. But I'm not going to um, labor this because I know that most of you heard this. Uh, but it, it basically does tee us up for grants that may be coming available in the fall. A lot of it from either if it's ARPA or there's some other, the, I think you've all heard there's an infrastructure bill that's um, gonna get passed. This may be a really, really good um, place to, I don't think they're gonna be ready for any major capital changes because the purpose of this study is additional study uh, I think they felt the original uh, using the rail trail, the bike trail as a levy was not, was going to be cost prohibitive. So they're looking at going along the new, um, the along Bay Road. So it's going to be, this isn't going to be the final part of the study, but it's continuing to get us ready for these grants. Cause I think if you were there, you heard the, the big numbers, we're talking 10, 11, 12, $13 million to, to do um, what they want, what they think is going to be the best. So, but I'm most concerned about the, um, the inspections of the drain to evaluate the drainage and the erosion that should be getting done on a regular basis. And it's not as well as the, uh, what is most important for FEMA, um, and anybody giving grants for something like this is to having a, an operations and maintenance plan. It's another thing that we absolutely sh should have. So that's what this is for. And 
I can answer whatever questions you have, but I think most of you saw it, right? The presentation. Yeah, it was a great presentation. I hope Wasn't it they excellent? can come to the, uh, the town meeting. They'll be at the public forum and the town meeting. You need a motion? So, I, I, I do have one question. And so were you just saying that there's going to be another study that's going to be needed after this one, or is this the one that we need to secure the FEMA funding? So they were really, um, they've been very upfront that if the, the ideal would have been about 200, 250,000 to do the complete study, but this is what they felt we could handle this year. And as well as the most important parts of this study to get them to that next phase. So in other words, there will be another like $150,000. I, I don't know. Dollars next. I don't, I don't know, Valerie, I don't know, but I, I don't, I couldn't could put a number on it. What's next, but we, but uh, it's kind of taking, I don't want to say baby steps because 150,000 isn't a baby step, but it's taking really a really significant step, which I felt the town um, was manageable for the town this year. He did not, he didn't, go ahead. I was just going to say I could say uh, that in 2019 it was we I did see I don't know if the finance all saw it but it was presented in capital committee the uh, this presentation and at that point they were requesting 200,000 and it was just due to where we stood at that time uh, we then said you know let's push this off just a little bit longer so that's why it was pushed off and it was recommended to review it back in 2020 or 2021. Here we are now going into fiscal year 22, but now it's a little more urgent too, is the other thing is because we want to be shovel ready if the, um, if the government does have the money to give us because this is such an enormous project, we're not gonna be able to handle this in our budget. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I was I was catching up on some notes, so I might I might be repeating someone here. But there was also talk about not being eligible for grant funding unless we kind of take some action to show that we're putting money forward, right. not just kind of letting things get out of hand. And is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's you did say that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. To repeat. It's catching up. That's on right. That. And it's not just the uh, there may be the federal infrastructure um, funding. But Mike Spagnable was on last night and he was mentioning that there's other FEMA, very various other fundings too that we need to have this preliminary study ready for. So there might be other sources of funding too. And I hope he'll speak up uh, at town meeting about that because that was very helpful. Okay, great, thank you. The, uh, we reviewed this quite a bit and we had a lot of questions in capital committee and the capital did uh, approve this unanimously um, yesterday in capital, um, it, there was a lot of questions. Hey, I'm, I'm one of the ones that is not a big fan of a lot of studies being done. You know, sometimes I find too many studies on the shelves, but you know, I, uh, I went a lot. I, I also approved in, in my vote for this at that time. You want a motion? Yes, please. Uh, at the article. Okay, here we are. Uh, I make a motion that the uh, Finance Committee support or uh, recommend Article 14, Levy Assessment Study Phase 2. I'll second that motion. All right. Does anybody else have any other questions or any other discussion? All right. Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Five yeses. <clears throat> This is the budget which we did. Okay. Sewer water, that's the other budget. There you go, Carolyn's water and sewer line replacement. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, first I'll talk about XXX doesn't mean it's zero. It's just that I'm still waiting for an exact number to put in there and I'm not gonna have it um, probably for another couple days. But the total is 925,000. And if you if you can, um, I know Amy saw this last night, but if you can just scoot down to the breakdown from the engineers. So this is so that I, I think what's important is that you guys know it wasn't a guesstimate. 
that it was, this is a very specific breakdown of what the cost is going to be. What's included, you may have seen 800,000 early on, but what wasn't included in that amount was uh, the contingency and the construction engineering part of it, as well as the cost for the police uh, to do this. And the, I guess the other important thing is um, you are, the town is going to save a substantial amount of money. It's estimated from the engineers, it's, it's, it's over a million dollars. If, if we were to do this by yourself, it would cost about a million dollars more. These pipes are over, I think they're 70 or 80 years old. They're very outdated and it's, it's just an opportune time because all of the opening up of the area will be done by MassDOT. All the fill and bringing in is done by MassDOT and that's the significant savings. There's also a savings in the police detail. Uh, so it's, uh, I hate to say it's a no brainer in front of a um, finance committee. I hated it when people said that, <laughs> but um, it's, it is a really good opportunity. And I know that uh, David Nixon and Chris had been working on this for past few years. We need a motion. Yep. I make a motion that the finance com uh, finance committee support recommend rather Article 17, the water and sewer line replacement on Route 9 as part of the uh, Route 9 project. I'll second the motion. We have a first and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Five yeses. And can I just add, I forgot, Amy, um, I am, I did include an email that I back and forth with the engineers who are helping me with the application for mass works. So if that, but that process, the applications due in June and we wouldn't hear from it and hear from them until August or September, but I needed to have the commitment by September 11th to mass dot that the town was going to be doing this. So if MassWorks or any other grants become available to pay for this, we, we won't have to borrow for it. Because the other thing I wanted to add is uh, MassDOT is, is just starting to advertise in September. They will not even be starting a five-year project probably until late winter. So we are not, this is not going to happen next year. That is my guess. I'm not, I'm not a um, construction person, but they've made it sound like this is going to be a, a while before this part comes into the project. Okay. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, before we go further, um, you had uh, voted on the omnibus budget 401 but article 16 is for the enterprise budget. Uh, and there was no vote taken for that. Oh, we need to go back. That's true. I think we did a, uh, actually there, it, it was at your prior meeting, but you might want to just confirm it tonight because I don't remember if there were any changes since the last time you voted on that. Do you remember, Amy? I, I think. I didn't think there was any changes, but uh, we could go. I mean, I mean, we, if you, you want to pull it up at the end and we'll just pull, you know, double check your numbers and we'll just put a quick vote in for that. Sure. You want to wait? Not to well, wait. It, it, it depends what you have up. Oh, um, I didn't I just. Oh, you have it right there. I do. Uh, okay. Yes. Great. All right. So that everything is still the same as what we, it looks to me. Right, and the finance, uh, the select board finance, right along the same numbers. Um, what, Carolyn, I need to make a note to um, check with you tomorrow about whether we're supposed to be voting on the amount of the total budget, including the um, indirect costs, or the or including or excluding it. So. Uh, David went back and forth on this. One year we did it wrong, and I just need to. We just need to check with the accountants or attorney. I, I didn't think about it until today. Okay. Um, in, I have a question. In here, you have in the green column. It shows the 
that is actually not town administrators recommendation, but that is, is that the level funding? That's last year, it was the FY21. Oh, I'm see, okay. Didn't catch that, thank you. <laughs> so was your vote for that gonna remain at 401? Because that's what it was for the omnibus budget? Uh, we should clarify that because I thought, uh, <laughs> because they were fully in support of their own budget before, which would include no change to the enterprise. That was five zero on the enterprise fund at their last meeting. It was also five zero on the general fund. And I don't know whether that was just an amendment that's four zero one or whether you're redoing your entire recommended budget as five zero as four zero one. I would say let's leave the budget. Uh, what we we were looking at making that adjustment with what the select board's adjustment. So I would say let's vote again on the enterprise funds to make it clear. So do I have a recommendation or uh, I'm sorry, a motion on the enterprise funds to take as um, as shown? Can I? Yeah, okay. We're already in here. Paul, you want? <laughs> well, I had a comment. I, as I understood what we voted on was that we were voting on, what was it, 152 to make the adjustment to the 20,000 being back in the budget. And we okay. had one abstention, but that was just for that one line item. So if we voted on the omnibus again, I don't know, again, I can't speak for Valerie, you abstain, but will Valerie abstain from the general everything, including that one item, or will it just average out and we'll get a, a five zero? That was my same understanding. Which is stronger, which is a stronger message to the electorate not to put you on the spot valerie because i know it's just that i think it's just that one item that you're abstaining from correct so could want to make up should i just make a motion that we just vote on the omnibus now that it's been adjusted is that okay and that way we have a clear five zero on that and then we'll make a budget then we'll make another motion on the on the enterprise funds under article 16. so i'll make a i'll make a motion on article 15 that we support the, the budget now as amended. I'll second that motion. Okay. Okay. Further discussion, any clarification? Are we on the same page? So the budget we're voting on is, is we're now agreeing to the, uh, blue, the blue in the middle there, that is the total of the 1857-707, right? Right, That's which is what I thought we did last time. Right, but but it had that twenty thousand dollar difference. We were voting at the time. Yes, we just corrected to that. But in order for us to show a five zero on the entire budget as opposed to a four zero one on the one fifty two vote, I'm asking why don't we see if we could just get a five zero going straight across? Okay. Well, I I mean it's it, it was it it with twenty thousand less. I mean difference. So. Okay, let's just make it clear. It's fine. We'll make we'll vote on this part right, um, right and here, and then we'll go to the next article. article we'll go back to on, right. On the reserves. Right. Water. I mean the the okay. enterprise. Funds. Enterprise. So I'm I'm making a motion that we that we support Article 15, the omnibus budget, at the 18 uh, 18 million uh, 57,707. Uh, thousand dollars which is in this column the blue uh, select boards budget which includes which is the includes our twenty thousand dollar vote earlier so okay and i'll second that motion okay all right um all in favor are, are you have something else val hold on val has something. uh val you're mute I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm confused. So if we vote for the blue budget, the, the 57707, um, then I need to abstain from this vote. Is that correct? No. Th this is including that um, adjusted item. The, the only difference between the uh, 37707 and the 57 is that the 57 included the $20,000 in the um, 
our, our, our uh, item uh, 152, which was the personnel department. Correct, and I don't support that. So am I voting, so so are we voting for the 1837-707 or the 1857-707? That's, that's my question. We're voting, we're voting to see if, because it, my question was, Valerie was, I know you didn't support 152. Right. Okay, but taken as a whole, what, what I'm saying is, if we did another vote that included that amendment, which I know you don't support, would you vote yes or would you abstain from everything else because of that $20,000 difference? Oh, I see. Okay, because, because it's already happened and so on, this way at least we go to the electorate with a unanimous. It, and again, I'm not, I know that's pressuring you, but I'm not, I, I respect it either way. I just feel that if, if in reflection you would say, okay, yeah, I would, I'll vote for the whole thing and the 20,000's already been voted for, I would support it if we now bring it back up again. That way we go in with a, you know, a, a very united front. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying big... to be divisive. I'm just trying I, to... I know you're not, so, but it, so, either way. So I, I, I will, I will support this. You will, okay, yep. fine. So then the motion is there, it's been seconded. Sorry, Amy, I didn't mean to take over your... Sorry, sorry. Okay. Go ahead, doing okay. great. And all in favor? Aye. Five yeses. Okay. And then I'll make a motion on, just to move things along here, we're doing the enterprise funds, that's article 16? Yes. Okay, so I'll make a motion that the finance committee recommend article 16, the budget for the sewer, water, and Hadley Media enterprise funds. Second the motion. Okay. Amy, I'll give it back to you. Okay, oh, okay. if there's any other discussion? Valerie, you have anything? Or are you just saying aye? <laughs> I just, no, I'm saying I, I'm jumping the gun and voting yes. Okay, okay, aye. Aye. <laughs> aye. Five yes. Okay. There we go. So now we get a nice united front there. All right, so Article 18, right? We're up to 18 now. We voted on 17. Amy, oh, okay. I know. Oops. I know you've been involved, Amy, with the ambulance. Do you want to talk on it or do you want me to? I can. It's fine. I, uh, uh, so the ambulance uh, has been in capital, uh, the request for a long time, even um, once we got um, action ambulance. So that in that item that has been in the capital um, request has been like $270,000. Um, and we keep pushing it down the road. So this ambulance for $20,000 um, is a great ambulance from uh, the city of Northampton. They've uh, had it reviewed. They've done the maintenance on it. They looked at the maintenance log. Our, our um, mechanic looked it all over. Um, it's, it's great. And the equipment that is on it is well worth way over the, that dollar amount. So it is a great, um, item that we would be getting. Now, one of the things that I liked about it, I mean, we have, Mike mentioned a few items that really I'd like to hear. Um, this is not to replace Action Ambulance right now. This is just as a Hadley Med 2. So you get in a car accident down the road and two people get hurt, the ambulance only takes one person at the time. So he says he misses about 150 calls a year um, given out to other um, towns or whatever um, for mutual aid. So this would be, this is so we could ha one, have our ambulance there quicker. So the response would be quicker. Our guys, we wouldn't be hiring anybody else. So it would be just our guys doing it because they're, they have been in training for this. Um, and um, the other thing is, uh, so we'd have some income. Now, Action Ambulance is, Mike says is on board with this and you know, um, what would happen is um, uh, the billing, they, they said they could help us out at a reasonable rate. So that's another win. Um, it also makes me a little nervous. It was in the, I believe in the Mass Live or something I was told by, uh, someone told me that they saw it, um, that they might be set where um, the Action Ambulance 2 is right now, which is down the road, right by um, the oh, bridge. Yeah, 
they're, they're looking to possibly sell that property. So, um, you know, what if action ambulance isn't there as the backup, you know, and that is the, even though they would be providing us backup somewhere, may might not be as quick. Um, so I just, I think this is a really great, a great thing. Um, at first I was like, oh my goodness, are we going to do a whole ambulance company right now? And, and I, I, I looked at that and go, oh, but it is. It's 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 a it's a great new way of getting some um, us our feet wet and um, checking it all out and being able to support our our community a little bit quicker and actually gain a little revenue out of it. And um, yeah, this is a real steal on this um, on this ambulance. My understanding. I think this makes a lot of sense. Um, can we get any insight into why the one person on select board voted no? I don't care who. I just want to see here if there's an, uh, another side an argument against this that's valid because it seems like borrow Carolyn's phrase earlier, no brain. Sue and Linda or Dan, do you remember who? I hope not. I guess not who. But I don't what care what the argument. Who? It's just why. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't remember what the re if there was a reason. There, I, there was not a reason expect. Ex expressed and people get to vote like that and yep, without it being questioned so um yeah. they have an opportunity to give their reasons right. but I as i as i recall it wasn't said right. uh, uh, this is discussion are we open to discussion yeah my, my only concern here is this is a 2009 i know it's been checked out i have terrible luck with used vehicles so um you know, this is $20,000. Northampton has obviously the funds or, or the wherewithal or, or grants, whatever, to replace their ambulance. And this may be a great deal. In fact, stripped down, we may we might be able to just take this thing and take all the equipment and sell it on eBay for more than $20,000. But my, but my concern is that we're going to appropriate $20,000 here and it's an older vehicle and, you know, we could go six miles down the road and it looks great. And all of a sudden we need a $2,000 catalytic converter. Um, so I would feel a lot better with this budget. If we, I, honestly, I hate to say it, if we put five or $10,000 on this for a maintenance fund against this. So we don't, we have some funds set aside for maintenance on an older vehicle to make sure that we don't get those emergency repairs that we can't afford in case this thing turns, you know, it's going to cost some money when you're using it. Yeah. Um, you know, they're heavy vehicles, um, you know, they don't run all the time. Uh, and when they do run, they run very hard and they sit there and idle a lot. And, um, you know, I mean, that's why we have old cruisers that we say we can't keep running. You know, I mean, and that's my only concern with this is the age of the vehicle and so on. It may be a great deal on paper, but, you know, you know, if we get one year out of this, it's probably a good bargain. Okay, before something major goes on it, you know, but... Well but a 2009 vehicle could need all kinds of things from, you know, U joints to, you know, um, you know, steering components and things like that, you know, and, and that can be very expensive. And yeah. I just need to be sure that we talk about the inspection and, and how detailed the inspection was on yeah. the vehicle. So if I, I to reiterate what, um, sorry, did I interrupt you, Amy? No, go ahead. Um, it, Mike reiterated that, the vehicle is impeccable. Okay. I mean, he used that about five times every okay. time he's presented. There, and as Amy mentioned, there's there's a maintenance log that they have followed that is incredible. And a, the difference between Northampton and Hadley is obviously they have more funds, more vehicles. But one of the reasons that it's in such great, yes, it's right. such great shape is because um, they have kept, they have maintained okay. it so well. Mike. The impression I've got is it has years left on it, especially okay. with the amount of use with uh, Hadley. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm supportive of it. I just, I also know we're going to need to either repaint it or rebrand it. I don't know what that's going to cost another 500 to a thousand dollars to put our logos and names over everywhere. It says Northampton, um, you know, there's things like that. And do we have the funds for that? And if we don't, I would, I mean, I don't know if we can change this this late, but I would recommend that we just put some extra money on here or just be prepared. That's all. Oh. And it's a very tight budget. That's all I'm asking is that maybe it's a non-issue. Okay. I agree with you what you're saying, Paul. And we, and it, there is another, there's two points I just want to make. One point is Mike did say that there wasn't a lot of miles on it because Northampton has so many ambulances that 
there wasn't as many miles. But number two, I agree with what you're saying. Still, it is older, but you know, maybe we can discuss and, and it's been brought up that some type of a revolving fund um, down the road for the ambulance. So when they're, they're going to be getting money right. coming in um, from this ambulance as income, and maybe right. there's a way we can put that right into a revolving fund that for repairs or that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe just five percent of fees if if we're you know something like that should be put aside for maintenance, you know, or some some number that's reasonable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I'll. I'll make a motion unless there's anything else. Well, I would also just add, you know, I drive a 2008 and if you, you know, it's got another 100,000 miles on it, I think, as long as you take good care of it. And I, I really, um, I think this is when it's really a benefit to have leaders that you trust. You know, I think um, having, you know, Chief Spanknable, having looked at it and um, assessed that it's a great value, I'm willing to put my trust in that assessment. Oh. I am too. I just know that old vehicles, things break. That's all. It's not that they didn't do a great job. It's not that it hasn't been well maintained. I'm just telling you, when you own something that's from 2009, that's used professionally like this, it breaks down. It's just the nature of machines. That's all I'm well, saying. I support the idea of having uh, having a fund to, to keep it uh, yeah. in good shape going forward. I, all right. I will make a motion unless there's anybody else by jumping the gun here. All right, motion that the Finance Committee recommend Article 18, the purchase of used ambulance from the city of Northampton. I'll second it. Uh, any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Five yeses. Great. Move right along. That one can go to. Okay. So I don't know that you, do you need to vote on this? I, it says pending, I guess. You can. It's no more money, right, Amy? It's just right. allowing well, an extra. Hmm? Exactly. There's no money. It was already, these are already votes in, in the previous um, warrants. They've already been pushed along. But because CPA, on all CPA articles, they state that there's a two year, um, if you have to use the money within two years, and if not, it goes back to the fun, uh, the bucket it came from. So these these items want to be, you know, done, and they are coming up to their time. They're going to expire, so they're just looking to extend it one more year. Um, you know, I think it's down here because we've always just done CPA articles because it revolves money, but these don't, I mean, because they're already been done. Um, do, does anybody yeah. want to make a motion or would, would like to make a motion to either accept it or to skip it? Yeah, you can pass if you want. I mean, I have no problem making a motion. What, what okay. are we on? Which one though? Uh, 19. 19. 19. Okay, uh, I'll make a motion that the uh, Hadley Finance Committee uh, support recommend Article 19 CPA extensions. I'll second. Great. Any other discussion? No, seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Okay, CPR Article Number 20. Um, great. And are you going to, Carolyn, move 20 article later, article 22 and make it 21? Like, are you gonna make it to, so that the two Gerlinskis are together? So we did it to, um, what it is right now is the two CPA articles are together. And instead of putting states, the steeple clock in between uh, CPA and conservation. We did it so that um, we did Berlinski CPA. I see. And then Handrich CPA and then conservation for Grilinski and then conservation for Handrich and then the steeple clock. But do you, do you want it even more consolidated as far as do you want? 
it does it doesn't really as long what i'll do is i'll just go over the whole thing together um okay. and explain it um so what i'll do is this is motion i'm going to explain motion 20 21 22 and 23 okay so i believe so gerlinski is apr and then there's hanrich apr these are two separate properties okay both of these properties are go they went to they want to be apr land so that means nine it's 90 percent um is going to be funded by the state um and then for gerlinski 5500 which is five percent is going to come from cpa and then 5500 is going to come from conservation which is another five percent so it is 90% from the state, 5% from CPA, 5% from conservation. Same with Handrich, 90% from the state, 5% from CPA, 5% from conservation. That's how, and they have to be voted on separately because they're coming out of different funds. Does anybody have any questions on the CPA, on the APR land? Nope. Nope. Maybe we can have a motion just to go right through motion to see if we approve motion 20 and then just, I mean, um, motion uh, article 20 and then just go down and we can zoom right through. So to speak. Okay. <laughs> so you need a motion. To we... approve article 20. Okay. I'll make a motion that the uh, Hadley Finance Committee uh recommend article 20. second any other discussion no all in favor aye aye five yes all right i'll make a motion that we that the hadley finance committee support article 21 the handbook apr second all right any other discussion none all right i'll approve aye aye, aye. aye. five yeses Okay, Thanks. I'll make a motion that we uh, Hadley Finance Committee uh, uh, recommend Article 22, the Gorlinski APR. Second. Okay, no other discussion. I'll approve. Aye. 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 All right, I'll recommend a uh, uh, motion that uh, the Hadley Finance Committee rec uh, recommend Article 23, the Hamburg APR. Second. Great. There's no other discussion. Everyone who approves, aye. 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 I'll make a motion that the Hadley Finance Committee recommend Article 24, the steeple clock. All right. So the steeple clock is uh did did any is there what is there a second on the steeple clock? I'll second that. Okay. And discussion. Uh, I just wanted to let you know it's the it's it's kind of it's not keeping time well it's the clock up top but it's and it this is cpa money because it's historic and they want to keep the clock going it doesn't matter what what's in the building it's it's all about the historic part of it um they had in the past given money to the church which is in north hadley um that church um for the outside of theirs um to, because that was historic as well so um it is um basically they they just want to keep that clock going because it looks great in the center of town <laughs> great so is there any more discussion no we have a first and a second all in favor aye aye, aye. 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 yes is yeah are there any more carolyn no there's not <laughs> they don't want to discuss the riverfront no, I, I do want to point out that the budget on the flood repair, ultimately, it might be cheaper just by everybody in Hadley, a small boat. You know, <laughs> little davits out the second floor window, and we can all just have a boat. Talk about a maintenance fund, Paul. Yeah. Uh, okay, that and the uh, annual town election. Do you have an interest in this finance committee? I think so because I'm the one that brought it had David put it in the first time <laughs> and the reason I, for I, that I, it, you might have an interest in it if it affects the uh, 
the success of town meeting and the budget that you've worked on for right. months? Well, the reason I originally asked David Nixon to even address this a long a while ago was because I was looking to save money. So that was the focus because mm -hmm. why are we having um, election and then and then a meeting and then another election? Can't we just save money and have one election? <laughs> so that was the purpose of that. Um, and then there was uh, one, one, we re researched it, we found all these other benefits, you know, to that reason. The benefit of um, letting the select board person to continue all the way through, um, because instead of having it change right before town meeting. Um, the, also, the other thing is, it, it, it mainly, my th focus was on debt exclusions, because when after our town meeting, we have debt exclusions that go to ballot vote, this too is if we have it after with the annual town election, we're going to get a lot more people that will um, typically will show up and, and put their um, ballot in and vote on those debt exclusions. So they will have a better turnout. So those were the reasons um, for the annual town election change that we, but the, the first reason why I wanted it was to save money. Are you, you want a motion? That'd be great. Okay, and also there's a typo in the first line. There's a space missing. Oh, yes. And amend. <clears throat> okay, the motion is that the Hadley uh, Finance Committee recommend Article 26, the annual town election date. I'll second that. Great. Any other discussion? No, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Five yeses. And um, the parking ban, I didn't, um, I mean, unless anybody else thinks so, I mean, it doesn't have any money in it, so. Um, and I don't think the moderator either is, that won't say there's no money there, there's no money there. Hmm. Yeah. So it'll, it'll, couldn't you couldn't you make the argument that there is money there if parking tickets are involved? <laughs> well, that, that's very Northampton. <laughs> I think you heard the question. I, I don't know. Um, I I think that uh, you know, and I think it's a good idea that this is last because. I think it might bring up some discussion here <laughs> that people might go, hmm, what is this? So it's always good to have a zinger at the end to keep people. <laughs> yeah. Zinger. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 if you would like, I could, uh, I would probably abstain to this one, but I would, if you want to vote on it, that would be okay with that. Me too. It's, 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 it's however, just because I, I, this was a surprise. I don't even know what really the whole theory is. I don't know enough about that, this article to understand it too much. Yeah. I, I didn't realize we had a pro even a problem with this because, you know, I don't know what streets we have on street parking there, you know, in the winter where their plows are having a problem. I mean, Northampton, it's definitely a problem is, you know, there's on street parking is on every single street. And I don't like it as a sweeping every street you see in other towns like Amherst and Northampton. It's usually downtown where it's hard to maneuver snow or yeah. something like this. And yeah. yeah, and then we're going to end up with those little blue blinking lights on all the intersections. It's really annoying. I, I would, I, I'm going to stay out of this one. So if I can add, my understanding is um, there's been an assumption that there's a bylaw for this, but it hasn't been a bylaw that was approved at town meeting. So they're, they've been following a parking ban that I apparently needed to be addressed at town meeting. Ah. So is this a two thirds? Um, whatever it says on the, huh? No, majority. Huh. Hmm. I can see the, the the only thing that I would see that would be good for me about this is on my street, 
I'm going to call it back, right? And there is someone down at the very end and they park their car, there's renters that park their car on the cul-de-sac. So then the school bus couldn't go around the cul-de-sac. So the school bus had to back all the way up down my street and, and back up onto Route 47. And that was kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. but, and that, but we called the police a couple of times to call and say, hey, you got to get your car out of, <laughs> out of there. And it was, it was, you know, they didn't park on their grass because it was winter time. Um, and so they parked in the road. It was like, okay, it, with the school bus, it was a problem. But anyways, I, I you know, I, I would think it this to have it there all year long might be issues to some, some uh, people that don't have a lot of parking. Yeah. You know? and, and to clarify the uh, section 420-18 winter parking ban, is that something that is a standing order from December 1st to April 1st, or is that something that's invoked at whatever trigger, two inches of forecasted snow or something? Yeah. Because like March, we had no meaningful snow this year, and I don't think last year, really. Right. And so yeah. I think we're, we're getting into deep water okay. here, so to speak. Yep. Yeah. All right. So if, I, if all is, if everyone is agreeing, we can skip this one as far as our recommendations. Go on. Is that yeah. okay? I'd rather skip it. Val, are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I I don't think it matters all that much. Okay. Alexi, you're good with that too? Okay. All right. Yeah, so I, we are done if you want to make your motion, Paul. I'll make my motion. I, I, move, I move to uh, uh, adjourn the meeting. <laughs> I'll second that motion. Wonderful. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's been a wonderful right. evening. Everybody be well, wear a mask, stay safe.